If you're looking to film very high quality videos with your phone, but your TikTok reel for your YouTube channel, this is the video for you. Stick and stay to the end of the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stephanie Nadia. If you're new here, if you're not new here, hi love, hey boo. So we have a new setup which I'm not very comfortable in because I'm sitting on a table. But we're gonna make it work for now. Okay, so I started doing YouTube three years, almost four years now. Along the way, I've picked up what works and what doesn't work because from the point where I started till now, I film all my videos solely with my iPhone. I've changed phones as time went on, but they've all been iPhone. All the videos on this channel most of them i'd like to say have been filmed with iphones i've picked up on lots of tapes lots of gears because i've watched tons of videos and i'm going to give you guys all that worked for me and i think would work for you too <laughs> The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you're filming in the right position. If you're filming a YouTube video, make sure you're filming in landscape. You always want to make sure your phone is turned this way. If you're filming it for shorts, TikTok reels, using your phone, you're filming it in portrait form so you have the right proportion for it. YouTube videos is going to be 16 to 9 ratio and then for shorts, reels, TikTok, etc. You're going to be needing it in 9 to 16 ratio. Next thing you want to do is alter your settings. To get the best quality out of your videos, we all know you have to film in 4K because that's the highest resolution. I like to film my videos in 1080p, 30 frames per second. I'll put a screen recording of how to do that. That's the first camera setting you need to take note of. The second camera setting you need to take note of is to turn on your grade. The grade has helped me so much. When I started filming videos, I tend to eyeball my position in the frame and then when i go to edit i realize i'm too much to the right or too much to the left or there's too much space above my head so turning on the grid in settings helps you know which side you are always make sure that you're in the middle you're taking some parts of the left some parts of the right not too much of the upper parts because you want there to be some head space in your shots it just gives a better video the next thing you need to do is clean your camera the difference between cleaning your camera is so big I didn't know this, but I picked this up from a friend. She doesn't even take Snapchats without cleaning the camera. The camera is the camera. The quality is still the same. But no, girl, when you clean your camera, the quality is different, okay? You could be using an 11, someone using a 14, and you take a snap, and it's even nicer and clearer than the person using a 14. The difference being the fact that you cleaned your camera, and they just turned on their camera and started recording. Clean your camera. It makes so much difference. Trust me filming with your back camera you can film with your front camera because maybe you want to see what you're working with but the back camera gives so much difference yeah. i have two clips because of the purpose of this video i filmed one clip with my back camera and one clip with my front camera and i want to show you the difference the back camera picks up on colors better picks up on lightning better and the front camera if you don't have much lightning tends to be grainy you could have the same lighting setup but the front camera tends to be a little bit grainy the back camera is a better option and if you're using your back camera and you're a youtuber that owns a laptop or a tablet there's an app i can suggest to you that i use that helps me see what i'm doing when the camera is turned around a power mirror i'm going to put the name right here i'm using my tablet as a viewfinder so this is what it does you just connect it by the same wi-fi make sure your phone is connected to the same wi-fi tablet is connected to the same wi-fi and you can see whatever you're filming the free app works perfect don't even need data on the wi-fi it just needs to be connected to the same wi-fi and you're going to be seeing what you're doing on your phone on your tablet it lags a bit but i don't really care about the speed of the video i just want to see what the video looks like so when i go to edit i like the footage i have so that's on the side so if you see me looking here that's what i'm looking at. i just want to make sure i'm in the middle and i'm filming exactly like i like it another tip you'd want to take note of is that your shots need to be very stable okay if you're someone that likes watching vlogs you wouldn't mind seeing hands moving everywhere with tripods and stuff but if you're someone that is like me i love sit down videos i love vlogs when i'm watching sit down videos i like to have a stable shot not crooked shot like a normal shot like perfect right because we take note of those things because it's the eye you're using to wash you want to invest in a good tripod i started doing youtube like years ago so just imagine the number of tripods i have i have one with my ring light i have one with my soft box not soft box like my overhead light and i have one with my phone that has this and i have one with my sunset lamps when it comes to vlogging i have these two as well this is the perfect for vlogging because it came with an like a portable light on the top here and it comes with a bluetooth remote but i 
destroy the light so i had to cut it off so yes this is the tripod i use for vlogging it has a three leg and also you can use this to film reels because you can turn it this way it's like the perfect tripod i tried to find a link to it on amazon or shein affordable one so you can buy the same thing because of the fact that i bought it when i was in china so there's no way to link that particular store it's been like years but this is the best investment i ever did i've been vlogging with this for years and it's always been sturdy it's getting a little bit weak but it still does the job this is the next one so you just put on the i'm using it currently but the black thing that holds the phone you just screw it on here and this is like adjustable tripods can make and break your footage tripods that aren't too steady or aren't exactly put in the right place tend to be slanted your clip tends to be a little bit slanted so it's always good to have a viewfinder to see what you're doing but it's also good to have a good steady tripod stability is everything the next thing that you totally do not need but i'd advise if you want to send your videos to another level you get is an additional lens so it's a wide lens for mobile phones it works with every phone whether an iphone or an android whatever phone it is yeah so this is what it, it looks like you basically just clip it onto your camera it gives you a very wide angle than what the normal iphone would give you so let's say you're vlogging outside you need like a bigger angle than what your phone gives you because cameras tend to have that advantage over phones they can give a wider perspective whereas phones don't do that much so this lens is something i invested in when i was in china and has helped me on days when i want to vlog like outside scenes and it's not just a vlog about me having my videos a vlog about visiting somewhere this is a good lens to bring along but if you have this on the right camera your angle is going to be amazing i think i showed you guys in my video this video so if you haven't seen it make sure you see it after this video but i'll put links of this from shein i have links of that in the video i talked about but i also put links of it in this description box just in case you want to get it but it's not a must it's just so you can have like a variety of angles when you're filming because your phone is the only device you use to film the next i'd say most important thing when you're filming with your phone you guessed right lightning okay lightning is everything if you've seen my vlogs you know i have a very big window in my room even with that i get very good content but i like to have this overhead light that i got from shein i put a link to it in the description box it was for about 28 pounds so bright it's the only light i have on me right now and it's the only source of light i have right now because it's getting dark outside the sunlight is gone but then i have a small window here to, to just illuminate this side of my face i have light behind me to illuminate my background and i have a little light under the camera to just zhuzh things up okay i'm just being fancy if vlogs are the kind of content you mostly do on your channel getting a light that looks like this is the best investment you can ever make because this clips on just like the lens it clips onto the phone and the tripod and it's powered by batteries and it's bright it's good it gives you all the lightning you need especially in low light surroundings and lighting is everything when you're filming if you're going to be filming short term videos like reels tiktoks i'd advise you get this small light this is the tiktok famous light you've seen it if you've seen my other video you've seen this one it is so bright and it can clip onto anything you clip it onto and for short term videos like a one minute video this is perfect but for long term videos it will go off on you because it's just two pounds this is how bright this light is it's so bright but it doesn't last that long to film your tiktoks this would be a very great investment because it's good for short term light to film vlogs tiktok reels this would be very good to film youtube videos reels tiktok everything this headlight i have i'll put a picture here i'll even show you in a b-roll would be the perfect one because it gives you all the light you can need sometimes it's even too bright and i have to soften it up with a rub white rubber bag or a white singlet i have or something lightning is so so crucial you cannot even imagine okay so let's turn off this particular light i have on and we're going to see the difference it makes to have good lightning on you this is what my clip looks like in fact let me turn off my the backlight this is what my clip looks like without any of the lights this is what difference the light at my back makes i know i know amazing right the fact that it illuminates the back of the video just makes it even more interesting to the eye you want to keep people's attention on the video so little things like this help you a lot so invest in a good backlight so the next thing we're going to do is turn on this light you see the difference lightning make 
to your clips it always is a better option to have very crisp lightning because people stay glued to a video before they even know what the video is about if the video is pleasing to the eye and the eye is attracted to good lightning okay so just invest in good lightning the next thing you want to invest in as a youtuber as someone that does voiceovers in your tiktok reels shots whatever it is is a good microphone i've had this microphone for years and this is the one with the iphone jack because i got this when the wireless one wasn't exactly as popular so this is the one i have i don't use it much lately because my surrounding is not as noisy but when i want to give crisp content in fact let me show you the difference right now this is my voice with my microphone this is my voice without the microphone you can definitely tell a difference cup cut gives you a very good option where you can reduce noise with normal audios but then adding a microphone always makes it all the better because audio becomes second best thing that someone takes notice of when they watch your video the next thing you want to make use of if you're filming with your iphone or your phone whatever it is is you want to make use of time lapse and slow motion and time lapse is basically letting the video record without audio in fast forward motion so it's like filming yourself cleaning up your room setting it up those kind of clips in your vlogs and as b-rolls just help your video just be more interesting be more captivating to the watcher making use of slow motion maybe when you're making a smoothie making breakfast it's also very pleasing to the eye lots of youtubers don't make use of that and i find it so pleasing to watch especially time lapse i use that a lot when i'm studying or when i'm making food or when i'm cleaning and the whole footage would, would be boring to watch but if you're watching it in a time lapse that's like a speeded up version without audio and a nice soundtrack on it it just gives a very inviting vibe right so that's what you want your videos to do you want your videos to keep the viewer on your channel the last thing i want to put in there is if you want very good content you need to invest in a very good editing app editing apps mean so much to me i've used a couple of them i've used imovie i've used windows share i've used capcut i've used vn i've used vllo child i've used all of them all right and the best one currently that is also free for editing my tiktoks my shorts my reels my youtube videos is CapCut. CapCut is the best editing app i would say for all my edits all my zhuzhs i add to my videos CapCut makes it possible some of them are even templates on there that i just apply so i don't be doing much work you want to make sure you're using a very very good editing app and i'd say CapCut is a very good place to start so yeah Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this video was very, very helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you have any video requests you want me to do. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Bye.